What kind of wedding decor can you find in Italy? Hello everyone, I'm Svetlana from Best Indian Weddings Italy, the first and only wedding planning agency in Italy specialized in Indian weddings. Every day I help Indian brides and grooms-to-be realize their authentic Indian celebrations in the most beautiful country in the world. I'm running this series of videos called the SOS Indian Weddings in Italy with useful tips and advice that you won't find anywhere else. And if you're looking to host your Indian celebrations in Italy, then please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to always be updated with the new videos every week. The topic of this week is dedicated to the wedding decor you can find in Italy. Today I want to talk wedding decor, however, it won't be an inspiration video, it will be a practical video with a lot of useful information for your Indian destination wedding in Italy, as it always is the case for the videos of this series. But why did I decide to talk about the decor today? Because there is a huge difference between the decor used for weddings in Italy and the one used abroad, such as in the UK, the US or India, and many couples don't know what to expect in Italy in terms of the decor, because they only have experienced the wedding decor back home and maybe picture their wedding with that kind of decor. So, first of all, we need to consider the main reason for Indian couples to get married in Italy that of the possibility to hold all your events outdoor. In fact, Italy is known worldwide as the most beautiful country in the world, with amazing places, stunning backdrops where unforgettable weddings can be set up. And it's also famous for its mild weather that allows holding events outdoors even during the months considered off-season in other countries. With such a combination, holding your Indian wedding in Italy is truly the winning solution. And that winning combination brings us to the reason of this video. With the events held outdoor, in the venues with beautiful backdrops, you don't need to heavily decorate the space, but just to frame it. In fact, the heavy Bollywood decor would likely clash with the refined atmosphere of Italian venues. It's not by chance that Italy is a cradle of Renaissance and the famous Italian style is acclaimed worldwide. And the decor used by Italian flower designers follows that refined style. In fact, if we analyze the wedding decor you would use back home, you would likely go with a heavy Bollywood decor because you would likely hold your events indoors and the indoor spaces rented for weddings are usually empty, just a box to fill and to decorate to make it look nice. So there are large decorated backdrops to put behind the newlyweds, personalized dance floors to maybe cover the carpet of a wedding hall, large impressive centerpieces, and a lot of lights to create impressive setups. Because the wedding decor at Indian weddings held in the US, UK or India must be impressive. That's the right word, I think. In Italy instead, you impress with the venue and especially with the natural backdrop, with the panorama, breathtaking sea or cliff views, beautiful Italian lakes, romantic task and countryside shape with cypress trees, expanse of olive trees in Apulian or vineyards in Piedmont, Italy is all beautiful and you have the chance to set your dream Indian wedding in one of these gorgeous settings. And the right word for the wedding decor in Italy is romantic in my opinion. With such romantic settings, what are the best decor options you could choose for your wedding? First of all, let's talk the wedding ceremony, being it the most important event. Round gold mandaps with inlaid decorations and high stages that you could find back home wouldn't likely work for Italy. 
The decor here is all about being light, airy and delicate, and especially it must complement the surroundings. The mandaps you can potentially find in Italy are rectangular, with low stages or without any stage, and decorated mostly with white drapery. Of course, you can request a different color of the drapery, and oftentimes it can be organized, especially if you go with experienced florists who have a lot of materials in their stocks. And the floral decor of the mandap usually consists in the top front garland and two or four small decorations on the poles. I know, for someone it could sound too little, since Indian weddings are usually heavily decorated. But if you decide to get married in Italy, you probably do that because you want to avoid having the same wedding seen over and over and with the same type of decor. And in Italy you can experience something more refined and more classy. Don't misunderstand me, I don't want to say that, that classic Indian decor is tacky or similar things. I love Indian decor and everything bright and colorful. I just want to point out that you can choose a different type of decor that better matches the Italian atmosphere and that gives your destination wedding the touch of new and different that you are probably looking for. Also, there is another important aspect in choosing something simpler for your wedding decor, that of the cost. In fact, in Italy you don't have to spend so much on decorating empty impersonal places and you can save a part of your wedding budget and maybe put it towards something else, such as a more exclusive venue, for example, or an extra event. In fact, as I said, in Italy you are helped by beautiful natural backdrops. You just have to choose a venue with a panorama you like the most and frame it. That's it. Of course, even in Italy it is possible to spend a lot on decor, so it's important to follow some tricks. First of all, you should know that florists in Italy don't use fake flowers, but only fresh scented flowers, and fresh flowers cost more as you can imagine. However, there are more expensive and less expensive flowers, and especially the in-season flowers always cost less than when the same flowers are in off-season. Actually, some flowers could cost twice or three times as much when you order them in an off-season time, so please pay your attention to that. In fact, with our ultimate video course How to plan your Indian weddings in Italy on your own, couples get it too with the seasonality of basically all the flowers used in Italy so that they can choose the right ones for their wedding. And there is also a very large section dedicated to decor. So if you are interested, please check the dedicated page, I've put the link for you in the description. And there are also some amazing surprises right now, so please check, you won't be disappointed. Another trick to make your decor cost effective is using a lot of greenery. In fact, greenery costs less than flowers, and here in Italy we have a lot of different types of greenery, in different shades, of different sizes, so truly it would look definitely amazing and would cost you half price as if you would use the same quantity of flowers. Then you can just add a few flowers here and there, maybe by creating floral points, and your mandap will look definitely stunning. And not only the mandap, the same criteria can also be applied to the wedding reception. You can put garlands of greenery on your long tables, just add a few flowers if you want, or maybe small candles, and the outcome will be magical. Ok, it's clear about the wedding ceremony and reception, but what about pre-wedding events? Ok, natural backdrop and beautiful surroundings, but your mehndi or your sangeet must be colorful. My answer is cushions. Use colorful cushions. They are easy to sort out in Italy and don't cost much. 
You can put them on sofas or chairs or on the floor by adding some colorful fabrics and you don't need a lot of them. Remember, it's better to create one or two nicely decorated angles than scattering a few decor pieces in a large space. Of course, if you could have Indian umbrellas and marigold garlands to decorate your events, it would be better. However, it's quite hard to find original Indian decor in Italy. As specialists in planning Indian weddings in Italy, we have our own Indian decor that we always put at the disposal of our couples. But other planners don't. So, if you are able to bring your garlands from the UK, maybe borrow them from your just married relatives or friends, then do that. Otherwise, you can opt for paper balls or even balloons, which are quite trendy now, so it could be a solution as well. As you see, the decor options available in Italy are beautiful and will add that Italian touch to your Indian destination wedding that will make it diverse and unforgettable. My last advice to you is to let your florist help you by telling them your budget, the list of events to decorate, your color scheme and what you want to prioritize. I don't suggest sharing Pinterest boards or pictures of settings you can find online because they could be way away from your budget or could not match the venue you have chosen. A professional floral designer will propose you cost-effective solutions without wasting your or their time and will make sure that your wedding looks amazing. After all, you're getting married in Italy and it can't be anything different. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video that I hope can truly help you with planning your beautiful Indian wedding in Italy. If you haven't done it yet, subscribe to my channel, follow Best Indian Weddings Italy on Facebook and Instagram, comment in the post and I will be happy to answer. See you next week! Music